guys, it's Mommy Megan, and I'm so excited to be here. I've got my childcare set up today, so I came right over here. I don't have a lot of time to get projects done out here in my trailer. It's going to be a short one today. Well, I think I have enough time today, not a lot of time, but just enough time to go ahead and fix the soft spot in my floor that I started fixing last week, but I didn't have my drill uh, bit that I needed, and I didn't have the screws, proper wood screws. So I have all that stuff today, so I'm going to go ahead and hopefully wrap up the floor. I hope that when I finish today, the floor would be ready to put some new type of flooring down on top of the subfloor. So I think that I finished preparing my subfloor. Um, definitely it's not a perfectly straight floor. Uh, maybe I can find some kind of like padding to put down underneath the new flooring that will make it a little bit smoother. So yeah, I don't have a ton of time to be out here today, but I think that I can definitely fix the soft spot. And then if I'm doing good on that, I can move on to, I think the last major demolition item that uh, needs to be tackled would be these counters. So yeah, I'm gonna try to rip off these counters and throw them away. And then you can see in here, they had a gas burner. You've got your gas line here for gas cooking. I won't be gas cooking, so I'm gonna go ahead and take out this shelf below and uh, see if I can free up some more space for storage underneath. I think that what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take away this sink right here. This is a very tiny sink that I don't think you could wash anything more than a cereal bowl in. I'm gonna throw away this fixture and I'm gonna be putting in a really big sink because I definitely plan on staying in this trailer for at least a week at a time and I want to be able to wash large dish items in that sink. So we're gonna upgrade, we're gonna get a much bigger sink in here. So yeah, we're gonna fix that soft spot on the floor today. The floors will be ready to go. We're gonna take out that countertop right over here. And I think next um, I'm going to be able to start cleaning stuff, like cleaning the walls. You're going to be able to see that there's a lot of just gunk and slime and grease all over this trailer that needs to be wiped and cleaned down before it can be maybe sanded and painted. So I know in a, a last previous video that I said I was not going to be doing solar panels DIY because it was too complex and I couldn't get enough wattage to run an AC unit in this uh, trailer, but I went ahead and I bought 200 watt panels and I'm going to be trying to set those up here next week and seeing if I can actually generate power through solar, fill up a battery and kind of experimenting to see what exactly I can get to run off of 200 watts solar. So I can kind of partially have this place on solar. I also decided that I might start looking into a composting toilet instead of this uh, regular water flushing toilet. So I'm kind of starting right now to research composting toilets and seeing if that's a good option for me. Um, that way I wouldn't have any gray water coming or black water coming out of this trailer. It would just be gray water. So that means it'd be a lot easier for me to park it somewhere and enjoy using it without having to worry about my black water waste and where that's going to go. So I'm kind of researching composting toilets right now and seeing about taking out this guy right here. So I'm going to get these DIY projects rolling.
All right, so I got that new piece of wood screwed down pretty good and it feels real nice and secure when you walk on it. And like that mushy soft spot that was there previously, it didn't feel good walking on that surface. So you can see it's a pretty good fit. I'm gonna clean up all the debris that I left in there. So I'm gonna clean up all the debris. Once all the debris is cleaned up in this floor, I'm gonna take my gap and crack filler that I have that I just had in my garage and I'm gonna squirt all that stuff in all the cracks let it dry and then I think tomorrow on my next day out here I'm going to be able to come and uh, take down that foam and then I hopefully will have a nice level surface to put my new flooring down on so we'll see okay so let's clean up our mess Okay, so we got some of that mess cleaned up. It looks a little better. Let's 
so now we're ready to use the spray foam. We're going to try to fill in some gaps and cracks and then after we use the spray foam hopefully I don't end up stepping on it. I'm gonna go get my plastic gloves because I think this is gonna be a mess. Okay, let's go fill in some cracks. I wanted to show here they have a, a hole in the floor. Stuff's still coming out, so. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. Man, I love this stuff. It just, uh, with this extension straw, it just fits in the tiniest little spaces and it's totally filled in the back behind this plywood board and kind of just gives it extra structure and kind of helps it all stick together. So hopefully I'm gonna wait for that to dry and when I step on it, I'm gonna feel a difference when, it, when I step on it, like it's gonna be a little bit more secure. I'm looking around to see if there's any more stuff I need to fill with this stuff while I have it out. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I think it's gonna make the floor a little bit more weatherproof and a little bit more secure. And it's nice having that foam to help stick all the wood together a little bit better. So now we have plenty of time to rip off these counters. These counters have got to go bye-bye. You can see over here, it's got some type of a shelf right here that was meant to hold the gas burner. I'm not gonna be using gas though. I'm super paranoid about cooking with gas. So I'm gonna remove this shelf underneath as well. You can see they did a sort of support for the gas burner, but I'm gonna remove that and hopefully get a little bit more storage space underneath these cabinets. So yeah, we're gonna pop off this surface. I'm a little um, sad to take it off right now because it's kind of where I've been uh, setting stuff. So I won't have anywhere to set stuff. Kind of like when I took out my futon, I no longer have anywhere to sit in here when I'm trying to take a break. I'm now going to have nowhere to set all my tools and stuff when I take this countertop off. So I have a lot to look forward to in this space getting more remodeled. Say goodbye to the counter. And hopefully I don't step on all this foam while I'm trying to take the counter off because that's gonna really ruin my tennis shoes. You know what, I just realized I need to probably disconnect the faucet and the sink first. Water in those connection, hose connection, so I need to go grab a bucket really quick to catch all that.
So I got the hot and cold water disconnected pretty easily. But now I have to unscrew the bottom of the sink. And yeah, I'm not looking forward to that because I'm not very good at plumbing and it seems to be really, really tightly attached. So yeah. Okay, for the sink PVC pipe, I might end up, oh gosh, uh, blood baseball. For the sink PVC part, I might actually end up using my reciprocating saw, which still has the wood cutting blade on it, and cut right through that, and I'll just reconfigure the PVC pipes and put the new sink in anyway. So let's go grab my reciprocating saw.
So now you can see I have space here for an absolutely massive sink. If I want to have a nice big sink, I can have a nice big sink. Of course, I did take out the tray for the gas burner that's gone. Um, the gas line's still there, so if at a later point in the future I ever want to cook with gas, I still have this gas wires running. So, but yeah, plenty of space for a beautiful new counter and a very spacious kitchen sink, which every girl wants a really big sink. There's no dishwasher in here, so I'm going to need it. I'm really happy with how well this counter came out. So now let's do a little bit of cleaning up. I'm really happy with the spray foam for filling in soft spots in a travel trailer floor. This stuff is the magic potion. It writes all the wrongs in your life. So I highly recommend the spray foam gap crack filler for floors that are soft or kind of wonky. It definitely helps out a lot. Okay guys, well I think that wraps it up for me today. I am done. So until next time, you can subscribe to my channel to see how this project and other projects turn out. Until next time guys, I'm Mommy Megan, let's keep on DIYing.